I'm a neuroscientist, and in neuroscience, we have to deal with many difficult questions about the brain. But I want to start with the easiest question, and the question you really should have all asked yourself at some point in your life, because it's a fundamental question if we want to understand brain function. And that is, why do we and other animals have brains? Not all species on our planet have brains, so if we want to know what the brain is for, let's think about why we evolved one. Now, you may reason that we have one to perceive the world or to think, and that's completely wrong. If you think about this question for any length of time, it's blindingly obvious why we have a brain. We have a brain for one reason and one reason only, and that's to produce adaptable and complex movements. There is no other reason to have a brain. Think about it. Movement is the only way you have of affecting the world around you. That's not quite true. There's one other way, and that's through sweating. But apart from that, everything else goes through contractions of muscles. So think about communication, speech, gestures, writing, sign language. They're all mediated through contractions of your muscles. So it's really important to remember that sensory, memory, and cognitive processes are all important, but they're only important to either drive or suppress future movements. There can be no evolutionary advantage to laying down memories of childhood or perceiving the color of a rose if it doesn't affect the way you're going to move later in life.